On the edge of real and cyberspace, there's one place you can go, and you found it. Welcome to KWTV, the one only show that tunes tech into your way of life and lets that technology work for you. My name is Nightwise, and in the coming episode, we are going to talk about, well, geek bags. We are going to talk about the dangerous and interesting topic how to get your gear into your bag as safely and securely as possible. So stay tuned for a show full. Fold, fold, fold. Okay. Build. Keep bags. On the edge of real and cyberspace, there's one place you can go, and you found it. Welcome to KWTV, the one and only show that tunes tech into your way of life and lets that technology work for you instead of the other way around. My name is Nightwise, and for the coming episode, I'm going to be your host as we talk about geeks and their geek bags. In short, we are going to talk about carry cases, laptop sleeves, and the most important question, how to get your gear into your bag as safely and securely as possible. All of that and more in this episode of KWTV. Hey guys, welcome to KWTV, where today we are going to talk about geeks and their bags. For me, mobility is extremely important. I am on the road quite a bit and I'm out the door quite a bit of the day. So having a home set up with lots of screens and a big chair, well, that's not really my thing. Well, it is actually, but you know, I don't get to enjoy that a lot because I'm on the road a lot. When I'm on the road, I do want to have my gear with me in an efficient, safe and stylish way. Sounds like a lifestyle magazine, but it's not really. I uh, think that when you go out as a geek, that it's important that you have all your gear with you. So you have all the cyber power or the tech power at the tips of your fingers. I also think that it's really important that uh, when you haul all your gear around, it shouldn't be too heavy or it should be safe. So no big backpacks with uh, lots of material and gear in it that uh, is bad for your gear and bad for your back. And I also think that geeks shouldn't look like technological uh, nomads slapping around all kinds of stuff and uh, where you can basically see that they are geeks carrying around tech gear from miles away. So what I've done today is I've actually gotten a bag uh, which I uh, asked to review from the company Headroom. And I'm going to take a look at the bag that I use, I'm going to take a look at the gear that I take with me, and I'm going to take a look at the way on how I pack everything. So, in all, it's going to be an episode on how to kind of compose your geek bag with all your tech goodies without packing too much, without having a bag that's too big, while still uh, keeping your equipment and yourself safe and healthy. So that's what we're basically going to talk about. Let's get right into it, and uh, I'll basically unpack my entire bag for you and we'll go over the items that I have with me one by one then we'll take a look at the bag and then we'll take a look at how I pack everything into one. Enjoy! Um, okay what I've basically done here is I have unpacked my entire geek day bag uh, onto the table. So all of the items that I take with me every single day, wherever I go, is uh, kind of um, displayed here on the table. And we'll go through them one by one. Well, first of all, here, my MacBook Air, 13-inch MacBook Air, very pleased with that. Um, very good laptop and also a very thin and fragile laptop. But it's really light and I like to uh, take it around with me. Two, my earbuds. These are always in my backpack so that uh, I can listen to audio whenever I want to. These are not in my bag, but they are basically part of it because I, uh, whenever I go out and I go out uh, into the town or something, I have these around. These are my Panasonic headsets. And uh, with cold weather like this, they, uh, not a, they, they sound good. They're kind of stylish to wear around your neck because they're basically also healthier than earphones than uh, earbuds, uh, but they're also great ear warmers uh, in this kind of weather, so I really like that. Next up is my uh, Bluetooth Mighty Mouse, which I take with me because it doesn't have a cable and the MacBook Air only has one USB port. An Ethernet cable, uh, so I can hook up to whatever port I want to. 
an external 500 gigabyte hard drive by La C. Let's see if I can open it up one handed here. Really nice device. Comes with a built in uh, USB cable. So uh, it always works and um, it uses the power of the USB cable to power the hard drive. 500 gigabytes. Very, very nice. Next up is, of course, my Galaxy S. I have that in my pocket or in the backpack. This is also, this doubles up as my, uh, as my MiFi because quite, quite frankly, I can uh, set it up to be um, a hotspot, a wireless hotspot using my 3G connection to surf and my Wi-Fi connection to connect my MacBook Air. Then I've got some analog stuff, book I'm reading for the moment and around that book, I always have a rubber band and a pencil because that allows me to keep the pages nice and shut. It doesn't open up in my uh, backpack and I need the pencil for notes. My personal notebook, whenever I want to write something down uh, that's not on a computer and I do do that, I've got a marker here, pen here also, rubber band to keep it all together. Some pens, just basically some pens. These are screen wipes, which I also keep together with a rubber band so it doesn't go all over the place. This is just a piece of paper that was lying around in my backpack. This is my, um, this is kind of a, a field note. This is what you get when you go to a conference to uh, basically put your, your, your paper in and, and, and your, your brochures that you get. Let me open that up here. I have to do all of this one hand, it's not really convenient. So uh, it basically holds your pens and some business cards and some paper and here you can have your uh, A4 paper to write on. But we're not using it for that. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, power wise, I've got my MacBook Air power brick and the cable so I can uh, don't always have to roll up everything. I can choose what to connect. I either use the connector that's on the power brick or I hook up the cable. I've got my Ethernet to USB uh, dongle for the MacBook Air and I have got my bag which has you know all of my stuff in it. So next up we're going to see how I pack everything into that bag to have all of my geek gear with me and then we're going to come back with some tips and tricks. One of the things I can be pretty neurotic about is bags. I, I think that laptop bags are pretty important to me and I can really shop around for hours and hours until I find the bag that I really like. One of the things I don't like about stock laptop bags is that they scream, I'm a laptop bag and I probably hold, hold a laptop. So in case of, you know, kind of being safe and secure, I don't like to use them a lot. What I do like to use is uh, bags like this one. This is also a headroom bag, which uh, I've owned for two years now. It's a 10 inch model, really like it. Black, stylish, uh, nothing fancy, very sturdy. And I've used it for my netbook for the longest time. It's a messenger bag, so you can just hang it around you. And it has kind of like, kind of timeless design. Black slider in the front for your cell phone front pocket for pens and stuff and then of course the main section that houses your laptop. Now because this is a um, 10 inch bag and I don't have a 10 inch laptop anymore I couldn't really use it until the day that I found that my iPad which is in its so you case and my wireless Bluetooth keyboard fit in here very well. So I use that bag a lot. Because I was so pleased with the Hedron stuff, I asked the people of Hedron if we could review a 13 inch cousin of this bag to hold my MacBook Air. Send us a copy and we're gonna take a look at that. Hedron's HUP 108 is the 13 inch cousin to the laptop or to the messenger bag that I just showed you. Now, the other one was two years old. This is actually uh, quite a recent model that they brought out. But the cool thing is they kind of still look the same. So you still have the sleeve here at the front. You have a bag here at the side for your papers and stuff. You have the front section of the laptop. 
which houses a separate um, part for your documents. Here you can uh, put all of your pens and stuff and with two bottoms, two uh, pockets in the bottom for uh, technical stuff. Here is another place where you can store some stuff. And then you have the back side of the laptop bag which houses a built-in laptop sleeve like this which is secured by a piece of velcro and that is very important because when you forget to close your laptop bag and it's open I mean people just can't pick out your laptop if you put it in here. Now this is actually a messenger bag so you can choose to carry it with a strap or you can choose to use it as a backpack. When you're using it with a strap you can actually um, put away the backpack straps in here and uh, use the carrier strap like this or you can use the bag as a um, backpack actually. Sorry. Just like this. We'll take a closer look on the inside. Now, the best way to review a bag like that and give you a lot of tips at the same time is to actually pack it. How uh, hard can it be? Now, there are some tips and some tricks that I want to show you from uh, experience in lugging around lots of equipment for prolonged periods that uh, you, shouldn't, you don't want to miss out on. First of all, when you go and buy a bag, buy a bag that is, well, as small as possible because I see people buy these big, big, big laptop bags and the thing is, the bigger your bag, the more stuff you're going to haul around the more stuff you're going to haul around, the more stuff you might end up damaging the heavier the bag gets and the more inconvenient that it gets to haul stuff around something like this for my 13 inch laptop is perfect I chose a 13 inch uh, bag for a 13 inch laptop I could have gone for a 15 inch but I didn't because I wanted a setup that is as compact as possible. Now, small still needs to be safe. Safe for your equipment, so it doesn't get squashed together and stuff like that or damaged. And it also should mean uncluttered and easy to use. I see people sometimes they have their bags with their laptop stuff in it and you've got a book sticking out of here and then they add stuff here and then you know they've got some more books in here and you know then they just pick up anything that they can find like for example this entire box of Senseos and they you know, stuff it in here and then they try to close it up and that's not what we're gonna do here today today we are going to build a bag or pack a bag that is um, safe to use for both you healthy for your bag and uh, good for your equipment so that uh, if you haul stuff around you shouldn't worry about damaging your gear or damaging your bag. So first thing we are going to pack are our peripherals. Analog as it may seem, pens are always a good idea to take with you. I carry a few and uh, in this case I've got like two which are in the compartments they are designed to fit into so I always have those with me a notebook analog as it may seem it has its charms sometimes I get easily distracted when I'm on my computer or I sometimes I just quickly want to sketch something and the little notebook is just perfect for that so I bought this little notebook and what I always do is I do a rubber band around the notebook why? Well, basically if your notebook's in your bag 
and it doesn't have a rubber band, you put it in your bag and you put other stuff in your bag, what you can end up doing is basically kind of messing up the pages. So with a rubber band around it, like this, the notebook is always closed and you don't end up you know, kind of damaging it by putting all kinds of other stuff in your bag. Plus, you can easily hang some pens onto here. Um, I had found a place for my notebook. Let's see. It's in here. There you go. Next up, if you're reading anything, I am. Um, I'm reading um, Digital is the New Normal by uh, Belgian writer Peter Hinzen, which I'm also going to review on the podcast later on. And books are cool because books are kind of flexible, but they are also kind of sturdy. So they can protect your laptop from hard or pointy stuff. Um, book, always easy to attach some notes and always a rubber band around the book because, you know, that keeps it nice and shut. Book goes at the front. So what I've basically done is I've already built a double shield to protect my laptop from anybody, you know, kicking it or doing something to it because I've got both my notebook and this book forming a protective layer at the front side. Next up, power supplies and stuff. So in this case, I've got a fold here. Uh, that kind of you know holds everything together what I've done is I've actually I always put the cables in like this hope you can see this so they are basically in between the fold here and uh, the part where I store the cable on the other hand I've got my power supply and I do this on the other side exactly at the same place. So when I zip up, I actually have two extra pockets that I can use to put my power supply in. Then, your small stuff. Never ever throw your small stuff into just one bag, or into just one place. What you basically end up doing is making a big bulge and when you close your bag, that bulge here presses on a one single point of your laptop screen. Now the entire setup of this bag, the entire purpose of having a laptop bag is protecting your laptop. So stuffing it with gear badly placed, you can actually squash it onto your screen. And because this is a backpack, your back pushes back and your laptop can get damaged, especially the ones with the big screen. So. I use the special compartments at the bottom here, I'll give you some close-ups a little bit later on, for my mouse and my external hard drive. I always carry around a network cable and to make sure it stays nice on top, I actually hang it here and zip this up so this actually remains sticking out and it doesn't sag to the bottom where it might clutter up and collect with the things that I already have packed on the bottom and making that big bulge that I told you about. Small gear, small cables, always put your small cables in special pockets for them so you can actually see if you have them with you. If it's all a big blob at the bottom, you don't know which cable you've packed, you don't know which cable you forget. Right? Like this, I can literally look into the bag and see like, do I have everything? Power, network, mouse, hard drive, extra power cable. Yes, I've got all my cables. Headset, pretty important. Not very well wrapped, but you know, that actually goes, well, not in here. It goes somewhere. So the important part is that you see, when you open up your bag, you see your entire uh, collection, you see everything that you have. You have that cable, yes, check, 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 check. That's how you can really keep in check that you haven't forgotten anything. These things are pretty important to me. Screen wipes, 
because I hate working on a dirty screen, I always take them with me. Now for my little earphones, I don't really have a place, so I tend to stick that somewhere. But when I close up the laptop bag, for now, it's a nice, compact, and kind of, you know, straight uh, piece of gear. So nothing's really bulging out. The overall form of the bag is still intact. Here's the trick. The next step would be to put my laptop in here. Here's my fault with the bag. The bag comes with a notebook sleeve. And at the bottom of the notebook sleeve, there is padding. There always has to have, the bag always needs to have padding around the bottom because otherwise when you set down the bag, the edge of your laptop will actually hit the table. Like that. Not good. So if you put your laptop in here and you close the lid, what I don't like about this bag is that the distance between the edge of the laptop and the zipper is not a lot of distance. There's not a lot of space here. So basically when you get a hard smack here, it directly contacts with your laptop. That's why I decided not to use the sleeve. Next up we're going to show you how you can use a old document map and the laptop to build a secure sleeve to put it in your bag. One of the things that you always have to buy when you buy a laptop is a sleeve. These neoprene bags kind of are a perfect protection for your laptop and should not ever be forgotten when you purchase a laptop. If you purchase a laptop bag that says, I have a built-in sleeve, that's just great. Don't believe it. I always use a sleeve as extra padding. What you don't want to do is just use a sleeve. That's what I see a lot of people do. They kind of slide in their laptop, and then, uh, and then they take their power supply, and they shove it in, like that. And they zip it up, and they go carry it around. Now what you basically do is you press your power supply directly against your screen. Like this. Okay. See, you really press it against it. And that is not good, absolutely not. What you should never do is use just a sleeve. Use a sleeve as added protection for your laptop and then you'll be fine. The sleeve gives you the padding that you need so your laptop doesn't really make hard contact with any surfaces and that the, um, actually the surface of your laptop doesn't get damaged. So, always 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 use a sleeve to put around your laptop before you put it in any bag and always make sure you never pack your power supply and your sleeve together because all of the pressure that is on your screen all of the single pressure points can actually damage your laptop damage your screen and that is something that you don't want to do now for this one <laughs> i had a little bit of a hard spot because this is a 13 inch uh, uh, laptop and all of the sleeves that I found were either 15 inch like the ones um, I just showed you here this is a 15 inch one or they were 12 or 10 inch which was too small so I really started looking around and I wanted something that could really protect my laptop while it was in the bag now the great thing about the 13 inch form factor is that it's about the size of, a, of an A4 a piece of paper. So I remembered that I got one of these conference um, portfolios once and it's actually it's by Microsoft so you see here's the Microsoft logo so but I just I, I got that uh, a few years ago and I still had it lying around. Now the great thing about this one is um, it is kind of padded on the inside. It doesn't have any hard surfaces or anything. This is all pretty soft stuff. So got some paper here, whatever. Um, and here you should actually have your notes sticking in here and stuff like that. And you can use it to write on because it's a 
hard surface. Now, the, inner, the inside of this thing is soft, and the outside of this thing is pretty well padded and very firm. I can hardly bend it because the MacBook Air is so delicate, if I were to really put force right now on the laptop, I could easily bend it. And what I don't want to do or didn't want to do is when I would be carrying it around, kind of, you know, warp it because of the weight of, uh, you know, of, of my shoulders pressing into it, of my back pressing into it. I wanted something hard around it so it wouldn't get damaged. So what do you know? It is a tight fit, as you can see here. But if I close it up and zip it up, I have the perfect laptop sleeve for my 13 inch MacBook, MacBook Air basically. And it doesn't really scream laptop, it does scream Microsoft, so I'll, I'm pretty sure that whenever people want to steal it and they see that logo, they kind of want to leave it alone. But for me, that proved to be a perfect solution when uh, putting this little uh, laptop sleeve that I improvised into the bag. Okay, rounding up with the Hedgren HUP 108 bag, uh, we're going to put everything in there. And as you can see, it all matches up and it all fits up pretty perfectly. There is a um, <clears throat> little distance between the sleeve and the place of the zipper, but the laptop is even in the sleeve, so there's plenty of protection. So when I zip it up, it's all nice and compact. And as you can see, the bag is well filled, but still kind of really holds uh, in place, so that's a good thing. Uh, really content with the bag. Um, wish it was a little bigger, uh, as I mentioned with the whole sleeve issue, but if you work around that, it's, uh, it's a pretty convenient thing. Few tips that I do want to give you guys before we go out. When you go for a backpack, the maximum size that you can go for is a 15.4 inch laptop. Starting from then, the laptop bags become too wide and when your straps are on the outside, not like this here, they are on the inside, but when your straps are more towards the outside and you have it on your shoulder, what it actually does is it pulls the sides of the laptop bag towards you. You kind of have it on your back. So it pulls these straps, which are mounted here in a big bag, and warps your entire laptop, pressing your back into this part where you press into your screen. So always, always, always be very, very careful where you carry around your notebook. Um, once again, when you put your notebook in, make sure that the screen side is always pointing toward the side that is the best protected. Now in my case, I've got the back side pointing toward my back because that's the closest to the edge of the bag. And I've got my screen pointed towards here because I've got all my gear, like this book and everything, kind of protecting it there. That makes sure that you uh, kind of protect your laptop. Don't overpack your bag. Please only take with you what you want to. Make sure it's nice and organized. Uh, don't uh, make it too obvious that there is a laptop inside. I mean, if you see this, it could be just about anything that I'm carrying with me, so I'm really pleased with uh, the very discreet look of the entire bag. And I hope that uh, together with these tips, uh, you might find some uh, nice geeky pointers next time you get yourself ready for a trip and put all of your gear and your belongings into a bag like this. Well, okay, that's about all that we have time for in this episode of the Nightcast, where we actually reviewed the HUP 108 by Hedgren and also gave you some tips and tricks when it comes to packing your laptop bag. If you don't have a specific laptop bag and or you have a general bag, please uh, take some of these tips into account. Make sure that there's always some sturdy, rigid stuff in there that kind of holds the form of the bag and protects your laptop without being your laptop, without your laptop being the one that really has to hold the bag together. So in this case, the structural form or shape of the bag is well held without my laptop inside. So when my laptop's inside, 
it doesn't really sag around the laptop and damages it. That's about all we have time for. I hope uh, you can, you still know where to send your feedback. Nightwise at nightwise.com is the address. And uh, you can uh, Twitter us on uh, www.twitter.com slash nightwise. If uh, you are on Twitter right now and uh, you want to show your friends what you're watching, why not you know, tweet about it? Or when you are watching, uh, watching us on uh, Boxy, you can actually you know, favorite us and share us with your friends. Until next week, let technology work for you safely and uh, make sure to protect your technology uh, as it's working for you instead of the other way around. So we'll see you guys on the flip side. Have a great week. Bye.